If you wish to use the RF power meter for measurements above 10 milliwatts, you will need an additional attenuator, such as this particular one here, the 30 dB 100 watt attenuator, which will allow you to measure the output of 100 watt transceivers. Alternatively, if you um, you can also build this 40 dB tap. This was published in QST in June 2001, titled Simple RF Power Measurement by Wes Haywood and Bob Larkin. This tap allows you to connect a 100 watt dummy load on one side and a 100 watt transmitter on the other side. There is a takeoff point which is, uh, delivers a signal which is 40 dB below whatever is passing through the tap. In the case of a 100 watt transmitter, the signal out of here will be 10 milliwatts. In this design there is a small piece of wire which acts as a capacitor to improve the frequency response uh, above 400 megs. Here you can see the piece of wire which is placed close to the resistors making up the tap. I am now going to adjust the position of this wire and show you what happens as I move the wire away from the resistors and you can see the reading drop to down around minus 12.9 dBm. So it's dropped a couple of dB. So this, this little gimmick capacitor uh, helps improve the high frequency response. Here it is up close. It's, we're looking at minus 11.6 dBm. Push the wire away and we're dropping to minus 13, minus 13.4 dBm. So it, it does have a significant effect up at 433 megs, which is what this transceiver is currently putting out. If you wish to go even higher, you can still use this tap, but you will have to increase the power rating of the resistors inside the tap. Uh, this tap is good to 500 megahertz. Uh, here is a closer view of the, uh, the tap that I've built, following the instructions in the QST article. This particular attenuator has a 30 dB attenuation and is rated at 100 watts. It consists of a thick film resistor mounted between two aluminium blocks with two type N connectors either side. Frequency response of this attenuator is well beyond 500 megahertz. The inside of the attenuator contains this film resistor. It's a 100 watt 30 dB attenuator, 50 ohms in and 50 ohms out, made by Florida RF. Here is an internal view of the attenuator. The chip resistor is placed between the two connectors. This is the bottom block and this is the upper block. Here I've set the attenuator up on the end of my SWR meter and I'll just show you what the SWR is at 433 megs. I'll just key up the transmitter and you can see it's quite low. Here's a closer look at the meter. There's the setup on the meter to show its full scale. And we'll switch to SWR. There we go, down to 1.1 to 1. This is at 433 megahertz. Uh, some of that uh, SWR will of course be due to these couplers that I've put between the SWR bridge and the attenuator. I've got a uh, BNC connector in between which uh, is not really a good idea but that's uh, what I had to couple the two, two units together. So SWR should be better than 1.1 to 1 if you remove this uh, BNC coupler. Here I've set the 30 dB 100 watt attenuator between a IC706 transceiver and the RF power meter. I've also included a switchable attenuator which can be switched in 10 dB steps. At the moment the attenuator is set for 0 dB. When I turn the transmitter on I get a reading of plus 10 dBm or 10 milliwatts. The transceiver is currently putting out 10 watts which I've uh, measured with this uh, other power meter over here. A uh, 10 watt signal into a 30 dB attenuator results in a 10, a 10 milliwatt output going straight through into the power meter. And here you can see the, uh, the reading on the digital display and on the analog display. Okay, plus 10. I will now switch in an additional 10 dB and I can wind the transceiver power up to higher than uh, 10 watts that's 3 dB higher so that should be about 20 watts uh, 6 dB should be 40 watts and when I reach uh, plus 10 dBm I should be putting 100 watts into the 30 dB attenuator the output of the attenuator will be 1 watt and this attenuator here will handle 1 watt but that's its upper limit uh, upper power limit any higher than that and uh, this attenuator won't be any good uh, here is the reading of the IC706 into the Yasu power meter when set for 100 watts 
I can switch in additional uh, attenuation in from the HP. That's uh, 10 dB, 20 dB, 30 dB, 40 dB, 50 dB, 60 dB, 70 dB, and 80 dB. Going a bit non-linear now. Uh, 90 dB, 100 dB, and now it's uh, the power meter is not not, uh, no, no longer linear at that uh, that end of the scale. Uh, here is the same test using a 1 watt UHF transceiver through the 30 dB attenuator. As you can see it's still quite good right up at 433 megs.